Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of people in Australia. But it's also one of the commonest causes of disability. It affects two-thirds of all Australians. Cardiovascular disease is not obvious to a lot of people in the community, but as soon as you say we're studying heart disease, heart attacks, stroke, everyone straight away knows. Younger people are dying from heart attacks and they don't have those traditional risk factors, so it just tells us that it's quite a complex disease and we need to understand how it develops, how it works. were set up by RPA cardiologists to do their research to better the outcomes of patients. They genuinely care about the researcher and the project and your career development. The Heart Research Institute is, is unique. You know, from a personal perspective, it holds a, a dear place in my heart. It's where I, I trained as a, as a young researcher. The future of cardiovascular research is in the students and the new researchers that we bring through. That really makes me enthusiastic because I get to work in different fields, learn from different people. When you come through the doors, immediately you see our Hearts for Eternity sculpture. It is an example of us demonstrating just how key our donors, particularly our bequesters, are to support research. The Heart Research Institute has given me a home, a, a well-supported environment where I can conduct my research. I just live and breathe heart research and what can I do for heart health in Australia and the world. It's just so wonderful to be given the opportunity to be a part of that. Key to us is our relationship with the University of Sydney and Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. And then beyond that, we have universities, hospitals um, and researchers all around the world. So I think we are global players and this is a global disease and we need to be global players. It has been a fantastic experience to be able to see how everything applies from, from lab bench to hospital bed. We are dedicated, focused and work together in a collaborative manner. Scientists working with engineers, working with chemists, working with clinicians. Group leaders, they have different expertise and they're working in different areas and we can tackle the same problem with many angles. So we get uh, the benefit of this multidisciplinary approach and really pushing the, the boundaries on the research that we're doing. So it's kind of a whole village to answer a question. The support that we've had from donors being prepared to support a, a Blue Sky project has been essential leading to some of our key discoveries. Literally the Heart Research Institute would not exist today if it wasn't for the many thousands of generous donors. I've got a real soft spot for the success of the Heart Research Institute because they've just proven over and over again that they've got the goods. It is philanthropists that have helped us gain our facilities, it's philanthropists that support individual researchers, it's philanthropists that help us buy equipment. It keeps a place like the Heart Research Institute going. It allows us to do the research that's vital to the health of current and future Australians. On behalf of us all here, thank you.